Hi, I am Zira of Nada Poor Sibli, home to high quality YouTube videos featuring music, health, technology, dining and cooking. Today's tutorial is on how to make thumbnails. Being the first contact with potential viewers, the importance of a good thumbnail cannot be overemphasized. Here are some thumbnails that I have created recently. This one is simple yet effective. Colored text on a plain black background. This one is a classy black and white image with red accents. The music symbols signify that it is a song video. In this case, a song made famous by the egos, Desperado. This one has full colored text and image on a plain black background. As always, when in doubt, choose a black background. It makes everything stand out. This one is for my orchid tutorials. Take one look, you'd know it is for horticulture. This thumbnail has been rated by an independent app as a hundred out of a hundred. Here is another one of high rating. When I use it to replace this boring one, the traffic flow quadrupled. I am going to show you how to make two of them using DaWinci Resolve in Photoshop. Let's start with this one. Go to DaWinci Resolve. Open one of the old files by clicking on it. Once opened, move to the end where there is an empty space. Drag four text windows onto the timeline. Stack them one on top of another. Highlight the top window by clicking on it. From font selection select extra bold. Then enlarge it. Type music video. and move it to the top. Click on the white rectangle and the color selection will pop up. I select pale turquoise. That looks great. Then move to the second window and repeat the process. This time I select pale yellow. Perfect.
The third window is the number 2. I chose red this time for contrast. The bottom window is for Da Vinci Resolve. This time I choose Royal Blue. I adjusted the spacing. Then I move to the color page by clicking here. Right click on the thumbnail and select grab still. The still appears here on to top left. Right click on it and export. Make sure it is exported as a JPEG file. Give it a name so that I can find it easily. Then go to Photoshop, select Bridge. From Bridge select our file. Here it is. Click on it to open. From the image size window, change the resolution from 96 to 72 and select file size of HD format. Safe and our thumbnail is ready for upload. Next. I am going to show you how to make this thumbnail. It is more complicated. I need to blacken the background of the smiley man's image in Photoshop. First open the file into Photoshop. Go to image and select image size. Enlarge the file height to 1080 pixels. Next, we crop some of the image off from the left.
Then go to canvas size to increase the horizontal dimension to 1920 pixels. Use the lasso tool to select the man. You can see marching ants at the boundary of the selection. Refinements are made by toggling the adding and subtracting tools here. When we have finished fiddling with the marching ants, go to select and select inverse. That means the next action will be only on the area outside the marching ants. Go to adjustment to select level. At the pop-up, push the indicator all the way to the right. Immediately, the whole inverse area turns black except for a patch of red. Oops. There is a bit of mistake here. The marching ants are not including this area of the glasses. Have to backtrack out of the inverse mode to correct it. Silly me. To remove the marching ants, click Ctrl D. This red area is cloned out. Refinements are made here to feather out the hair outline a bit. The file is saved and uploaded to DaWinci where texts are added as before. Here is the final thumbnail ready for upload. If you find this tutorial useful, please like and share. Thank you for viewing and see you elsewhere at Nada Poor Seebly.